Hello my friends, uh, I'm back to you uh, and we're gonna work on our still life now. So I uh, set up my working station and I also want to show you how actually our still life looks uh, because I put it together from some cold colors and you can see it's right here. So uh, then you can see that it's actually blue and dark blue and pink and even grapes are dark or blue too so there's all the cold colors which is i can find in my studio uh and i create this of just uh particularly to have these cold colors in that still life because that's my task for today i will work on my uh cold color still life so in order to start, uh, we're gonna start off uh, first uh, with the graphic. Just do the sketch of my still life uh, with the subject, which is the part of the still life. That's um, a surface where your subject will be. So uh, we're gonna start uh, with the surface. And my surface will be maybe, uh, I can tell, a little bit more, uh, a little bit less than one third. So this is gonna be enough, I think, because we have uh, quite a tall um, bottle here. So then it's actually with that bottle, uh, we need to figure it out that it's actually uh, enough room on our paper to put it in. So uh, I will have my bottle. Uh, first of all, I kind of like mentally uh, divide my uh, paper on two parts and so we can even make this here so the two parts will be like that so the left part and the right part so and my uh, bottle will be in this part in the left part so I will start my sketch with the biggest uh, subject here so which is going to be the bottle and uh, to make that bottle symmet symmetrical I recommend if you will take the bottle so you can have the middle of this bottle right so in the middle uh, line will help you to make the symmetrical um, a bottle so it's not going to be like off on one side so then uh, when we work on it so that actually will be recognizable so we have the top of this bottle and it's going to be farther because on our still life the bottle it's kind of the biggest object and it's also farther away so we're going to have this uh, on our still life farther away and then i will work on my little vase which is basically a one third when you want to measure something what you can do you can actually uh close one eye and uh put your hand like this does the full size of your hand straight and when you use the top of your uh pencil you can measure with one eye closed uh what exactly um uh, size of the uh this uh, subject in your still life will be and you can measure and uh, actually see how compared with the other subject where is that which level of this uh, subject is going to be so i'm looking right now and i see that it's actually kind of one third of my bottle so i will do the same so i will just start it somewhere here because that's where we, my one third of the bottle will be and this uh, waist has an interesting uh, kind of shape uh, so that's why I bought it because I, I just like that shape it's kind of unique so and the same thing so you can do the uh, divided on two part uh, line the vertical line and it's help you to uh, create your still life uh, object on the paper so and this is going to be uh, the waist and uh, uh, I think that is going to be the right size because like I look with my magic eye I kind of compare it in the count because this is the size of the waist and it's compared uh, to the bottle it's like three of these waists 
can be in that um, bottom. So that's one third of it. So and that's kind of will be the right proportions. So that's the trick to get things right on your still life. So I will get my base. And then uh, this is going to be that uh, gray drapery goes all the way like this and covering the part of the, my uh, still life object. So I will uh, then uh, kind of find the room for the blue drapery, which is going to be here. And then uh, it's going to be the grapes. So I'm not like start working on each uh, grape, particular grape on this branch. I will just do the whole thing and when I paint I will do the rest so I just need to actually locate that and I want to see uh, what's the size of this grape will be compared with the bottle it's like a half bottle size yes so we will do the same half bottle so that's where it started and that's where it's finished I will be finished right over there so and that's going to be the leaf there the green leaf so this is going to be my grapes well you can actually you know if you want to you can get some uh grapes on it so just uh round bubbles which is going to be a later grapes because you're not going to work on this when you do the sketch so what are we doing right now? We actually work on our sketch. And the sketch is the drawing uh, specifically for the uh, future painting. So that's we're doing the sketch for our future painting. So it's not drawing just for the drawing. It's uh, actually the help, uh, helpful uh, sketch for our painting. So then when you're done, you kind of get more details but not too many just uh lining for your play uh, everything uh, on this still life first everything has the space on it so and this is that drapery which just has that kind of interesting design i'm not gonna put too many details on that. um just a sketch for this painting and I will start with my colors right now. So I remember our hack about uh, our brushes. You have to have your brushes right next to you. So then you can always choose the right brush. You have to get up and uh, look for it. So now what are we doing? We're going to get some background done first. Because that's important. So it's give us some um, basic colors uh, for our background. It's like a sky in the landscape. So I think that this is helpful when we do background first. So that's kind of my way to do it. So I'm just gonna get that light blue color first, which is just a regular gray, like uh, not too dark, not too light. And uh, this will help us to uh, create the right blue. And I think I can also use a little bit of purple in that. So, so and that's going to be our blue for this background. So, and we're just going to get the basic uh, blue color. We're not going to make too many details, not going into detail. We just need that a nice bold color bold not by the brightness but by the how much uh, of this color we have so and we will see what we need to do later of course uh, so now i will get a little bit of this blue on other side because this is where there's a blue also located that uh, side on the still eye and then i will use um my gray color which is i have uh, that pre-made gray like this color and I will use it uh, with the white so 
So you will see that the gray, the uh, kind of cold gray with the little bit of orange will give us exactly the gray we need. So we can see that here. And that's our main gray color for the bottom. Uh, the basic bold gray right now just for coverage of your bottom with that orange creating that gray just like that and then And the other, uh, yeah, this is all about the gray right here. And the other blue drapery will be, uh, that's why I take it, uh, because I kind of want to see if we can manage two different blue. And um, that will help us to kind of explore more that uh, possibility of the cold colors, right? So we'll get blue, the light blue and green or white on my plate and uh, using a little bit of water I will kind of mix that with white and you will see that you can get that cold light green so but it's not enough for me so I still need some blue in it so I will just get some blue in it and that's gonna create that sort of interesting blue greenish color so that's going to be the color for my other drapery. So basically, uh, uh, I'm just kind of creating the environment for my uh, main pieces of the still life. So now I will do uh, the last, um, last drapery, which is right on the middle, on the back. So and that has some purple and the kind of um, lilac, dark lilac color and the uh, emerald, which is emerald I almost already have. So I will just start with purple. That stripes with purple. And another different brush to uh, do it so that I don't spoil it because it's not that much room here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the white and get a little bit of uh, green. So this is the color for uh, that main color uh, on this drain. So I'm just gonna use this. That's helped me to kind of uh, make that ornament on a lilac kind of uh, color, which is almost like magenta color. So it's um, purple with red, a kind of dark pink color. So. But I just add some purple in it because it's not exactly just pink, uh, it's um, kind of darker, magenta, purple, slash purple, pink. So, and this is going to be my other part of this drapery. Um, kind of cold colors group so and we also gonna use um a little bit of green now the ground for my uh still life uh, and now I just gonna work on my basic colors uh, for the main characters, so main subjects. So I will get a little bit of smaller brush for that, so because I don't want to 
get over the borders so first of all it's going to be more like a bottle and for bottle i need like really dark uh, blue because the a bottle is blue so i choose the bottle colors so just because i want to have as um, more cold colors as i can find uh, what the gloss actually do when it's kind of uh, collaborate with light it has the um, kind of sparks of that light on it so we can um, it, it's gonna make this bottle looks more 3d look uh, so then we go do it when we're done uh, so we're just gonna add that sparkles or the color on it coming from the window basic blue uh, but I still use some dark blue and um, actually black in it and purple to make it more intense so just to uh, kind of color the darker parts of it so but this is my main blue for the bottle and then I will work on my pink waist. So I need the clean brush for it because it has a like, very light color. And I think that I can use my magenta color uh, with the orange to create that color for my... for my beautiful little waist so I think that that's going to be the right color for it so this is my color it's a little bit uh, warmer compared with that uh, other magenta color but I will work on it more so then we can actually create the right color for everything Now we just if you're getting the idea from before and a little bit of yellow. So we're just gonna make that little bit of a white color. So I think it's like that. I'm gonna color this part. And then uh, I think that I will work on grapes right now because uh, this is only one subject. Uh, what, what I didn't do and for the grapes I have to have some dark blue I'm gonna have a little bit more purple in it so uh, then uh, just a bottle so uh, we're gonna put some purple colors on the grapes like that And we're gonna get our grape main color just oh, now I think that uh, we're gonna uh, go more into details and uh, create more uh, color for our still life and get some details in that so now uh, when the color starts drying I'll see that the drapery need to have a little bit darker color so so it's kind of like you know you will see what you need to do uh, when you kind of get the basic colors of your still life and I will show you the still life right now so that you can see what I was working uh, and what we actually have uh, in front of us this is our still life right here you can see all my subjects on that uh, the bottle and vase and the grapes so uh, now I will work on detail my details on that uh, picture. So, and we're not gonna do the final, very very fine still life this time because we just work on the colors, not a really detailed the work. So I will just get few details, but we're not gonna work on um like really really 
carefully uh, detailed everything so because that's not our task today so first of all I don't like my color for uh, the drape this drape because it has um, very very light colors on it so I will get uh, the different brush and uh, create a more a greener color for uh, for my background right here so even like we can add some light blue so I'm just going to add some light interesting uh, way to define this color so I still need some lighter color give us a little bit more a uh, deeper color in that point so because otherwise it's going to be too light and it's uh, on the back of the picture so it can be too light because the lightest objects should be in the front everything else behind has like little shadows and has to be a little bit darker so i'm gonna work now on my um that blue drapery a little bit behind the bottom and that was my uh, kind of gray a uh, blue gray color so I'll just use that um, purple I have and the blue so that will give us the right shade of color so just like that and it's gonna be that um, blue the kind of gray uh, slash blue because it's not exactly blue blue it's a little bit contain purple and gray but when you put the second layer usually when you work with acrylic colors it helps so it's kind of get more density to that and uh, looks a little bit bolder so then it's kind of do the job for you So helps to actually deliver the right colors as your still life because you have something to compare your colors with which is that the adventure of the working on still lives and now I'm gonna do um, I will work on my gray I will put a little bit more black in this gray white uh, so I'll just mix this time, not using my prepared gray, but mix a white and black. This is it. This is going to be my black. Black and white. And so I will see how that works. I'll kind of create a little bit of shadows here soon because it's kind of behind the bottle. So we need to show a little bit of 3D of all uh, this kind of surface and uh, the colorful drapery right here and kind of lead to that vase the approach so we can put the little bit drapery kind of hug the bottle if we can say that way and um, create that uh, nice shadows and separate the subjects but not too much because uh, everything has to be uh, on the same kind of beautiful layer and uh, uh, you are uh, separate but in a certain time or of your work you um, have to unify them too so that it's not going to be just a separate subject but it's a still life so it's like a family so they're all together and for a particular purpose of your beautiful creativity so creativity is that lighter ones because the uh, light comes from this side and it's all about with the still life it's all about where's the light come so then the other side will be uh, more in shadow so that's the purpose of light Sometimes when you work on still life, you actually put extra light uh, to create that shadow. So that's uh, what artists do uh, for their still lives. So 
So then we kind of done with that gray for now. Except uh, I will work a little bit on uh, that lighter part uh, with the orange. Like even before I put some orange in it, you know, between that shadows. be okay with that for now and then i will work on the other blue uh, we have that blue um other blue uh, drapery right now and again uh we need some shadow underneath the grape so we're just gonna use the more bolder shade of this blue right here On this part so I'm just gonna use more of uh, that purplish blue it's the same color I'm not showing that because I'm just still mixing it but it's the same color we had right here so just gonna be on this side and i will make that a little bit darker because that's kind of has the shadow uh because this drapery goes behind and this layered on the top so so and this is going to be my uh, uh other side of this blue drapery so now I will work on my colorful drapery and I will uh, more define that because we need some uh, kind of design on it. So I will use the smaller brush uh, to uh, get like more definition in that uh, colors and make that design a little bit more bolder. So uh, basically I will uh, use that uh, purple uh, with the uh, darker shade of blue to um, put it kind of in um, more darker shades so because that's too light so I'll get some border purple so and that will help us to kind of create the design on it or uh, and it will be more readable so repeatable structure so it uh, has that uh, stripes and uh, they repeat on a fabric with a particular sizing so it's like stripes made through the whole entire fabric and intervals of which is help us to kind of create that design on it even on the paper it's kind of uh, we follow that design so just to recreate that um fabric so it's a scarf so the, the scarf has that uh kind of abstract design it's kind of, kind of not very abstract it's more um i think geometrical so that's what I mix for that and that's going to be our uh, bolder stripes here which is good underneath that mm, purple so that's kind of the way how it's created and uh, it kind of goes through that whole um, decorative important we just kind of exercise with that darker colors in using this drapery is the um, example for them so that's the main purpose of it because we're not recreating the design 
the whole design on it because then it's going to be only the picture about the scarf design not the whole still life so don't just make that the main task because the main task is to create the still life which is has that drive and um i think that's 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 it for that color and then we got have to come back to our magenta color and um mix that with purple to create more bolder color and this kind of goes underneath that um purple stripes so it's kind of all organized that twirl uh, so create the right uh, environment on your still life uh, so it's kind of not happening right away but you work on your still life and that's what I'll uh, kind of lead you to it's like still life is the same as a landscape so just keep working and that's what happens so on the end uh it becomes your artwork so this is uh my next color for that drapery and then i will just work a little bit with that lighter um greenish emerald maybe warmer but if you remember when i show you pictures with the cold or warm still lives are some of the opposite group of color actually bright up the whole entire picture so uh, we can use that a little bit warmer green for the same purpose to kind of add some lights to our picture and then maybe on the end we kind of will connect everything uh all together so for now uh i'm just gonna leave it um like that except on uh, that corner over here just to get more colors to it maybe or maybe just leave it the way hard it's the way hard it i don't know yet so it depends on how the whole picture will look it's it's okay because um this is um kind of still uh lying on the uh sitting part of the chair this is what i use for my still life stand so it has a kind of that flow because i just threw this on the top of this uh, chair and um it's it's it doesn't show the perfect design because it's banded so uh, it's bended because it's lying on something. So then the design uh, on uh, this still life, it's just gonna have this drapery somehow lying out on the side of the chair. So it's not perfect. So we didn't straight it out to, to see the whole design on it. So. And then uh, I will work on my details a little bit more. So uh, first of all, I uh, like to add some shadows to my drapery right here because uh, this kind of this drapery is lying behind uh, that other one. So then it's kind of has the shadow. And I think that's going to help us to recreate the 3D look on it. Really? All kind of behind the subject. And then I will work on the bottle. So the bottle is really dark. So I need more bold colors for it. I get some particular spots which is like really dark on my still life. 
think like on the bottom it's gonna be this part because it's all round uh, before it start getting more uh, looks like a cone so uh, that's where it's uh, the surface is breaking so underneath that will be darker so if you know that trick you will get the right And um, this is what we can do for now for our bottle. I just need more red or uh, in purple to create the different type of purple, like mm, a little bit more red instead of just a purple because I will put some red in that so you will see the difference when I work on it okay. compare with the bottle it has some little bit different shade of color a 3d look on this grapes And the lace is pink, uh, so I have my pink color here. It's already dry, so I need to recreate that. That's kind of dirty pink. So we're gonna have the color right here to kind of work on our wing. Yeah, of course it's going uh, kind of closer to the draperies we uh, get some darker color on it so. people bring some so it kind of goes to the right direction and then it's a little bit of that gray um, drapery behind, so I will go get some finishes as well. Colors kind of continue. Base is white uh, with off white a little bit, so we can also use some orange and yellow on that. And inside of the waist uh, will be a darker color. So uh, we just need to finish that and then uh, we'll work on that final deep color inside. So, And then I will, in a particular few spots with some um, kind of magenta slash pink red color kind of burgundy I think so that you can use that uh, as the burgundy so but that burgundy I will create with uh, some purple okay so and that's gonna just be some extra color on the grapes recognizable by uh, people who look uh, and that oh yeah it's actually great so it's all about that and of course the leaves uh, leaves will help so then we're gonna have some green leaf behind and more darker so I'm gonna leave it right here so it doesn't work um, okay it will be brown yeah, let's spin, yeah, let's spin and put some brown. Yeah, see, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna have some warmer green. So the warmer green, because it's, that's usually the color of the grapes I have. 
great boobs. So then, I think that I can use the smaller brush uh, to make some details. Uh, to get some lights uh, on my bottle. So we're going to create some very light purple reflection. I'm going to call it a reflection. And that helps uh, us to kind of model the 3D look. And reflection can be used purple too because uh, this bottle is kind of surrounded by the cold colors and so that will be a proper. And right here too, I'm just gonna add some purple, uh, blue. So because it's kind of inside, so it's double layered of this colors and um, same thing with the that spot where the actually the, it's changed the shape so uh, then we're gonna get some darker colors here and some of those parts too we can make them darker yeah, especially here so it's kind of when you know the structure of the bottle it's you don't have to even look on your bottle because you're gonna know uh, what kind of uh, shape the bottle has um, and that's what you're trying to deliver to your viewers so then you just kind of create that shape of this bottle it might be hard from the first time because you're kind of watching your colors and you have to um, create the shapes uh, so it's not easy i uh kind of always address you to the how when you start learning how to drive the car you you have to pay attention to so many things so the same thing with the art when you're learning how to paint so same thing so you have to pay attention to so many different details so it's not easy uh, but it's that's where we practice and working on different skills so that's that's all helps you to do the right thing if you put your colors in the right spot um that will do the job so it will create the exactly what you want that to be so and then one more touch for your uh, drapery. So uh, I'm just gonna work on that stripes to make them a little bit more bolder. And um, now I'll work with the green color too. That green color, the emerald green. So of this color will kind of organize a little bit more your uh, drawing. If you notice, I didn't draw too much, just did the little sketch. And that's what we usually do for uh, our uh, it, it's just a helping uh, drawing, not uh, creating the whole picture like we did when we work on still life before, because we just did the drawing. So it's here, we actually draw um, drawing with the, our brush. So, and um, that's what I do. You can, you know, you can draw more and dedicate more time to a uh, more perfect drawing, but. Uh, usually it's not necessary because you still will work with the colors over that so it's just you know save your time for 
more colorful um, decisions on your picture and um, that's what I'm kind of hoping to not really go into little details uh, but kind of see the big picture more boldly and um, this is all about that so because um, what the still life can make with you it's just kind of uh, can make you uh, pay attention to details too much and then you can lose the whole concept of your uh, picture of your uh, painting so I don't want that happens to you so that's why uh, it's important to keep the big picture in the front so we have your still life in the front of us and first thing what you can see is just the whole thing so it's like the beautiful still life with the few pieces but it's not just a every piece together with something it's just a whole thing so the whole entire still life that's what you're working with and um i'm just gonna work a little bit on my um that green stripes um, so right now kind of doing details but not over the details that's what we're doing we're kind of working on the details but not making the, the main characters. Oh, and you do your best. And um, I think that I will um, work a little bit on my that drapery are uh, the kind of grayish blue, blue gray color strokes and that's um kind of side right here just kind of make it a little bit bolder than I did before because that drapery are uh, kind of behind like I explained you the other one so we need a little bit bolder color there so I'm just going to pop this drapery and kind of put that drapery behind the bottle here and um and when you work on that you kind of like uh, straight your drawing too so even if you don't uh use the pencil a lot to work on your drawing but you painting you actually can paint with a uh, drawing too so your brush can be uh, like your pencil certain way And um, you know, get some thing about acrylic. So it's like when you paint on the first layer, is just make this so white after for a while. Your gray thing. environment on your picture too so because the kind of dark colors and they help with the shadows and kind of organize your picture too uh, a little bit darker but it's still the layer of behind on the bottom of that it's actually still will be seen so don't afraid to put some colors on the top of the other colors because this just like that uh, we're gonna finish this and then I think that I need to compact a little ways and uh, get some smaller brush for details uh, because it has to have some deeper place over here so because it's inside and since we use the white in kind of off white but still it's gonna be 
some kind of grayish color inside so and I guess the kind of the main uh, subject you have uh, and I also uh, want to um, show you how to add some more um, 3D look to your grapes with um, not too much but just a little bit so kind of add some 3D look on I recommend to make it a little bit uh, light pink purple so then it's not going to be too bright stroke on each berry because then it's going to be kind of boring so and then you kind of uh, do that lighter part and so then you can some places you can just um, get some darker bolder color And um, then you kind of color may be used for, uh, we're just going to add some magenta in that and just um, get some shadows on the wings and everything. Same thing by the uh, place where the two surfaces are connected, that's a uh, place where you want to have more bolder color. connect that to colors and, and uh, I think that uh, we need more definition between these two colors so uh, I'm just going to use more uh, darker purple magenta for the lines over here so. Just to re and was the uh, just I guess for this side. Alright, it's interesting. I'm trying to get it darker. Very I can just watch me doing that so it's not nothing else and um it's of concern this is all just to uh, make it more uh, 3d so that's what I'm kind of trying to do get some tricks uh, with the colors to make it more uh, 3D look so that it kind of will settle dark so it's going to be like too kind of popping out from the 
whole picture is kind of like little kind of haze on the top of it. So this is going to calm down a little bit the color because I think that it's kind of too bright so that our kind of haze will keep that um, colors together. And I think that just like that, we can pull the colors. Even if you look at my palette after all this work, it looks really, really cold, right? So that's what we were trying to accomplish. And I will show you um, the picture right now, together with the still life, so then you can see uh, our accomplishment. So this is this is the still life and this is my uh, artwork and uh, I think that uh, we were able to uh, show that uh, cold colors in this picture and create the still life in that beautiful purple, green and blue colors and don't even use some warm colors except a little bit right over here which is kind of pop the whole picture and uh, this is important to know about the color collaboration which is always help you to uh, make beautiful artwork and be professional and, and utilize your skills uh, in that not very easy hobby as the art because you have to learn a lot to be able to become a successful artist and just like that we're gonna finish our class for the day and see you next time we're gonna talk more about colors and paint uh, the landscape this time thank you so much and see you next time